Panda looks just like the Kaladamun scope, especially with the Pegasus. I was going to say something different about uh, those weapons. You know what I mean? Is it even sharp? It's kind of the, uh, you know. I'm keeping it at that. This seems like a kid type of show. We already seen um, Pretty Girl when that, that chick Karai shot that villain in his inner thigh. Oh no. The, that weapon. Princess Kanda looks just like the. Okay. Now you can't tell me balls in the chair. Light of scope, video. especially with the. Uh, this one. Since I got so many comments about my pretty cure video, I pretty much. People get mad that I kind of compare Sailor Moon to it. Uh, I'm put the comment or well, how many comments I have about it probably up on the screen right now but I found a video that shows like the difference between Sailor Moon and Pretty Cure is by the person who created it was Science Project 99 so anyway enough talking let's get into it Hey guys, today we're comparing two different animes. You all know who this is, right? What about her? Or her? Or her? My point is, not a lot of people know Pretty Cure, and when they first see pictures or images of it, especially Smile Pretty Cure on Netflix, they assume it's some kind of shitty copy. Wait, so gl that glitter force that was on Netflix is Pretty Cure? Mm. When it isn't, so we're gonna talk about the differences between the two series, but also the similarities that are there. First, we'll be discussing the story. Without giving too much plot details, Sailor Moon's basically about girls who need to transform into sailor soldiers to fight evil. Admittedly, Precure is also about girls who need to transform to fight evil. But a very jarring difference is that the very first Precure season started off with a duo instead of five. In this very first season, the main theme was opposites, with the main character being very sporty and the other being very academic. And fittingly, they're also called Cure Black and Cure White. I have to say, that's pretty basic. Like if they're doing a duo, one is sporty, the other one is more academic, boring type shit. Looking past the first season, I definitely see the similarity between Smile Preaker and Sailor Moon, especially with the first episode of Miyuki being late and finding candy. It feels very much copied from the first episode slash manga chapter of Sailor Moon. The five main characters have elemental powers. The Princess Panda looks just like the Kaleida Moon scope, especially with the Pegasus. I was going to say something different about uh, those weapons. You know what I mean? Is it even sharp? It's kind of the, uh, you know. I'm keeping it at that. This seems like a kid type of show. We already seen um, Pretty Girl when that, that chick Karai shot that villain in his inner thigh. Oh no. The, that weapon. Princess Kanda looks just like the color. Okay. Now you can't tell me balls in the chair. Lighter Moon scope, especially with the Pegasus motif and the fact that they fight clowns, Sailor Moon Super S inspired. Small Precur, I feel, is also very unique in its own regards. Also, for those who are wondering, Glitter Force and Precur are the exact same series. Not talking about any censorship changes, just objectively speaking, that oh, they just changed the name. Are the same thing, just with a different name, and they just made some changes. And I recommend you to watch the original instead. As for the other Precur seasons, they really are their own storylines. Fresh Precur is about three girls who want to be professional dancers. Sweet Precur is about two I was thinking, you know, one thing about Pericure, a pretty cure, or I'm gonna say pedicure, and Sailor Moon is, they save the town by day, but at night time, they, they doing something a little different, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm a little energetic. My last video, someone comment, I was kind of just sitting there. So, you know, I told him I was going to be different this time. How am I doing? I got a brain fart. I just got off of work. So, yeah. I'm still kind of tired. I had a drink. 
some energy drink to get this energy back up but enough talking those who love music just to name a few really it's just uh transformations that make people think precure is a copy of sailor moon but i think that's just a lack of knowledge about the magical girl genre this genre okay. has shows filled with transformation i got lack of knowledge comments get mad because i compared the two i just got a lack of knowledge sequences not just sailor moon by the way but that doesn't make them a sailor moon ripoff people only really have this bias because sailor moon was their first exposure to magical girl anime uh, and yes all this quality gotta make sure i get it on my Obviously, both series have different backstories with Sailor Moon and the Moon Kingdom and the Rainbow Garden Precure, but those are a given for any two different series. I'm just comparing the story in terms of the plot of each episode. Another big story difference is that none of the Precure seasons are related. Each season brings a whole cast of new heroes, new villains, and just a whole new dimension of characters, so they're not connected. It's pretty much like so. Yep, consistency. I want to draw something different every new every season. Like I'm getting tired of boring same characters. Connected at all, except these two. These two are direct sequels. So if uh -huh. anything, this is more reminiscent to the Power Rangers series than it is to Sailor Moon. I don't really remember Power Rangers like that. I watched them when I was a kid, but it was nice. Because in Sailor Moon, all the five seasons have the same characters and are connected plot-wise. I just couldn't they get just into it. Characters. Now let's quickly talk about origin. Sailor Moon started out as a manga and then became an anime from there. Um, Freaker actually started out just as an anime. I'm sorry, how her mouth is distracting. What the fuck is that? Oh, her mouth is like a V. Precure actually started out just as an anime. Mangas were created later, but they're based on the anime, not the other way around. And now, my favorite part, which is action. Something worth talking about since both are action magical girl series. Simply put, Sailor Moon is more of a magical fighter. You don't really see her punch or kick or slap very often. In the first few episodes you do, but she forgets about it later. She mostly uses her magical attack whenever the timing is right. <laughs> With that being said, you don't necessarily need punching or kicking for an awesome fight. There's a lot of great Sailor Moon action scenes already, but a lot of them also leave a lot to be desired. On the other hand, Precure is much more physical. I really did not know this before getting into the series, because from the outside it looks so colorful and fun, so right. I really didn't think all this action would be in it. And a small nitpick I have with the Sailor Moon series is that the Sailor Soldiers always never seem to be strong enough. They always seem to have to be bailed out by Tuxedo Mask, the Outer Sailor Soldiers, or the Starlights. They just never seem to be strong enough, which is really annoying. I remember as a kid, actually, whenever I would watch Sailor Moon, I would never pretend to be <laughs> any of the Inner Soldiers. I would always either pretend to be the Outer Sailor Soldiers or the Monsters. In pre you pretend to be like them? The only thing I really remember about Sailor Moon was the robot chicken clip. You know, when they transform, but then the villain just get a bone. That's one thing I really know about Sailor Moon. It's that the people is named like out the planets. You hear sometimes they have to be bailed out, but even when it is, it's by their other fellow teammates. It's not by an outside force. And for the most part, it's usually just them giving this long speech and then overcoming the enemy on their own, getting back up on their own feet to attack. Not the speeches. But let's not make this all about why Precure is better than Sailor Moon. Now let's talk about stuff that Sailor Moon does better than Precure. As I mentioned earlier, the long speeches. There are some portions of Precure fights that are redundant, especially when they are- That's why I hate about most anime. They get their ass beat, next thing you know, they gotta give a speech. Like, nigga, I don't care about your speech. Get back to fighting. Are giving some kind of motivational speech. Sometimes it can be really nice and emotional, but some seasons, especially Maho Sky Precure, this was their only tactic and their only gig. And with Sailor Moon, they just cut straight to the chase. Another thing I think Sailor Moon does better are the monsters of the week. They just seem so much more creative and funny. And I just love the humanoid designs. As a kid, I remember buying the VHS tapes and being really curious as to what the monster would look like in the next episode. Um, with Precure, they just seem. Did that bitch have a shoe? He going through fast. Designs. As a kid, I remember buying the VHS tapes and being really curious. Oh. As to what the monster would look like in. 
Damn, she got a whole Jordan on her chest. In the next episode, um, with Preaker, they just seem the same. They just seem like the same giant monster, and this can lead to some very redundant fights, especially in Yes Preaker 5 Gogo. So yes, both shows have some good points and some bad points about their action. <laughs> And now we're going to talk about the thing everybody loves, character development. Starting off with Sailor Moon, I think the five main Sailor Soldiers are excellently developed, especially Sailor Moon and Sailor Mercury. Sailor Mercury actually has her own mini-movie, but the outer Sailor Soldiers, they're really not developed as nicely as the five main characters. Uranus and Neptune, yeah, they get a lot of screen time, but Saturn and Pluto just get the short end of their sticks. They really don't get a lot of screen time, and they don't really Pluto get is not a episodes plan. very much. Sailor Pluto, she just appears along with Uranus and Neptune being a third wheel literally and Sailor Saturn especially is so ignored. She gets overshadowed by the new characters, the Sailor Starlight, which I think is super unfair. And disclaimer, Sailor Saturn is my favorite Sailor Scout of all time. I just stan underrated characters. <laughs> In the manga, this was executed more nicely, with the Starlights acting as support characters rather than the main characters. It's super unfortunate that this didn't carry off. They got no way. just took center stage. Preaker, on the other hand, doesn't really tend to encounter this overshadowing problem. Because like I mentioned, there is a new cast of characters that are meant to replace the old ones after each new season. Even with the addition of new heroes within their seasons, such as Cure Beat or Cure Sunshine and Moonlight, I really don't think they take away too much time from the originally introduced characters. They really don't. They still get their time to shine. There are a few exceptions though, the worst case being Milky Rose and Cure Parfait. The season which Milky Rose was in, Yes Preaker 5 Go Go, was a sequel season and it exactly suffers from the same thing that Sailor Moon did. Additionally, although repetitive, Preaker's formula of including the group transformation I would like every episode blue one, the blue one, and having the hair. say their battle nice. names allows for no one to really get left out completely. They also it's take cool. part in the group attacks. <laughs> For our last point, we will talk about relevancy. Obviously, Sailor Moon is widely known across the globe. Casual anime fans, non-anime fans, they know what Sailor Moon is. Not a lot of people know what Preaker is. Except if you're in Japan, of course, and except those who know it as Glitter Force. Sailor Moon definitely has made more of a global impact, and you cannot deny that. <laughs> But in terms of the anime world, Sailor Moon is kind of being forgotten, mostly due to the fact that it was in the 90s, and with Preaker, it is a current anime. There is a new season every year, and currently they are airing Star Twinkle Preaker. In 2014, they did try bringing Sailor Moon back in the form of Sailor Moon Crystal, but the reception wasn't too good. I also did not enjoy Sailor Moon Crystal very much. There is word of a fourth season, which is going to be a movie, but really, there is not much news about it, and it's just been forgotten. Ultimately, I must say I prefer Preaker over Sailor Moon any day. The colors, the transformations, the character focus, but I still love Sailor Moon. Just a little bit less. Well, I learned more. Now I can be ignorant about Pretty Cure and Sailor Moon. They're different. Okay, I know now. Okay, I know guys. I know. Anyway. Hope you liked it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah. You got a video idea? Just send it in the comments or message me on Instagram. My Instagram is in the description. Anyway, peace.